What's good, Rebellion Gang? It's me, Ruben Wills, back in the cut. And in today's video, we are back with my fourth, yes, my number four cooking session. And in today's cooking session, we are going to be doing a request from Manet from MJ Gang, and she wanted to see today homemade pizza. Yeah, you heard right. So I'm down for the challenge and we are going to do that today here. If you're new to my channel, I don't just do cooking sessions, I do music as well and reactions. So hit that subscribe button now if it's your first time ever coming to my channel. Don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy it. And if you do have Instagram, and I know you do, head over there and follow me at Ruben underscore Wills. Okay, man, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this cooking session. Also, leave your comments down below what you'd like to see for the next cooking session. Okay, fam, let's go. Okay, so first off, we've got to get the ingredients for the pizza. Let's go. So first off, obviously, we need a pizza base. So we'll grab the pizza bases out of here. Italian pizza base with honey and olive oil we're using today. So. Next, we need some tomato paste. Got the tomato paste right there. It's to go on the pizza bases. We need some cherry tomatoes, which I'll chop up. Okay, we've got some cheese as well. We've only got Eden cheese. We don't have any mozzarella cheese, guys, so it's not going to be a mozzarella cheese pizza, but hey, it's a budget style one. So, um, Capsicum as well, so we've got an orange one and a yellow one. You feel me? Garlic. Gotta have the garlic as well, the minced garlic right there. And as you can see, we've got the budget brand, which is the essentials brand, because that's how we roll. And in here I have some salami and some chicken. And we've got a red onion as well to go on the pizza. So first off, you want to go ahead and preheat the oven to 180 degrees in New Zealand, and I'm not too sure what that would be in America, but you do the math. So uh, turn it around to 180 and preheat and put it onto normal bake not fan bake get that oven ready to go make it warm get it hot so first off let's grab these pizza bases out and grab the tomato paste and and cover that on the basis of the pizzas first let's do that ain't nobody got time for that Okay, so now grab your tomato paste and let's grab a spoon and cover these two pizza bases with the tomato paste. And just spread it around on the top of the pizza base. Like that, like that. Just make sure you get it cover cover the whole pizza. See, I've given you tips, guys. Okay, so one we got one done there. So now we move on to number two. Pizza. I am a chef. Okay, so for you guys that have mozzarella cheese at home, you obviously just buy it and then just put it on the pizza. But for me, I'm budget, so I've got a bowl. Grater, and I'm going to grab this even cheese and we're going to Rate that so we have some cheese to put on top of the pizzas next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then place that on the pizza, man. Okay, so we've gone ahead and grated the cheese. It's all ready to go. And now we're gonna go put that on top of the pizzas. So grab your cheese. Put it all over the pizza. Don't be afraid to put heat on there. Cut 
cover them all like that. Just be very generous with the cheese. You feel me, fam? Because it's gonna melt anyway when you go in the when you put it in the oven. Okay, spread that out. Spread it out, spread it out. There we go. So next, grab your garlic, in this case, minced garlic, and just spread it with a teaspoon around the top of the pizzas. You don't want too much garlic up in there. You don't want too much garlic up in there. Who's down for some garlic? Who's down for some garlic? Okay, next. Next, grab your red onion. You can use any type of onion. You can, you can use uh, normal white onions or you can use red. In my case, we're going to use red because we're cool. So we're going to do the red onion and we're going to chop that up. Chop it into little pieces and then put that on top. Okay, so when all your red onion is chopped up and ready to go, go ahead and put that on top of the cheese and garlic. Grab your hands, just sprinkle it over. Ghetto, ghetto styles. Just sprinkle it all over. I feel like I might have too much, but hey, this is how we're doing it today. There we go. So now you've got the red onion all over the pizza. Now grab your shredded chicken and actually chop it up a little bit smaller. Now I've chopped up the chicken, let's go ahead and put that on top neck. Grab your chicken, sprinkle the chicken all over the pizza. You see, just like that. Now go grab your pepperoni salami out and you want to chop that into halves. So then you want to grab the pepperoni slices and put them on top of the pizza. Pepperoni. Just like that, so now you got the pepperoni all over the pizza. Now you want to go ahead and grab your capsicum. I think I'm going to do orange. Cut that up. Next.
once you've chopped that up, grab your capsicum and just spread it around the top. Okay, so grab your box of cherry tomatoes, grab them out and start chopping those up as well. Grab your tomatoes now and put those all over the top. Man, it's looking so good right now. Your boy knows what he's doing. Bruh. Check that out. Okay, so we're gonna finish with some tomato, tomato sauce. Sweet basil, parsley, and some sea salt. Check that out. Okay, so these are the finished pizzas now. Now they're ready to go into the oven to be cooked. So just open the oven there. Grab your mitt. Pop that in the oven there. Make room for both of them. There they are. And then just shut the door and let them cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Set the timer on your iPhone and the waiter's on. Okay, so now the pizzas are ready to come out. Let's check it out and see if they're ready. Oh, look at that. These are ready to come out, so let's pull them out. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, cooked to perfection, guys. Check that out. I'm so keen to eat these. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job? Manet. I know you're hungry. Man, I did so good. Go ahead and grab the pizza, put that onto a plate, and now you want to go ahead and cut the pizza into pieces. Grab a knife. Rebellion gang, so that is the finished result of the homemade pizza. And just grab your drink as well, soda, whatever you want, and dig in. Leave your comments down below what do you guys think of this pizza. 
I hope you enjoyed that cooking session number four. Add to you, Mene, this was for you. Hope you liked it. I'm sure you're already eating your pizza at home right now. But if you guys are new to my channel and enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button as well so you'll be up to date every time I upload. Head over to IG, Instagram, follow your boy at Ruben underscore Wills. And I'm about to dig into this pizza. Leave all your comments below and what you want to see next for my next cooking session. I'm going to grab this. Cheers. This is for you, Mina. Mmm. 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 And I'll catch you next time. Stay humble. House.